hi guys you're welcome back today you'll be making this beautiful crisscross top okay so you start off by taking nine inches measurements from the tip of your pattern paper as you can see me doing nine inches and then you just connect the line like so nine inches from up to this point of your pattern paper and you connect and then you take two to three inches just as I have done and then at the upper part of the paper you mark seven inches okay then from that two to three inches you took before you also mark your seven inches and connect it your line should be slanted at this point so you connect your seven inches this way okay you see then from this new line you mark your other measurements you mark your bust measurement just as i'm marking right now from the new line you connect it you also connect your waist measurements from your new shoulder line and you connect it like so i have my bust measurements i've connected my uh, waist measurement and I'm connecting my hip measurement from up the new shoulder to my hip measurement and I'll also connect it so I'll go ahead and I'll label it this is my shoulder this is my waist yeah sorry my shoulder my boss my waist and my hip and you impute your measurements as you can see me doing you impute your bust measurements your waist measurements and your hip measurement then you connect them just like so with your ruler you mark five inches out and five inches down like so you connect it you see how i connected it I'm just trying to turn the paper so that I'll be able to connect the new armhole. Okay. All right. This is my new armhole. All right. Then I'll just go ahead and I will cut it. cut it out so this is our new pattern so for the back just do the same thing you did for the front the only difference is that that nine inches you came down by won't be at the back panel the back is just going to be your normal back panel you don't need the nine inches extension upward because there's no crisscross at the back the crisscross is only at the front so that it will be very easy to join so just connect your post measurements you connect your waist as you can see me doing all right connect your bust your waist your hip measurements all right and then of course your neck measurements the neck is two uh three by one or three by two for the back neck width and then you just connect it like so just your normal back bodies all right then you impute your shoulder measurement just as you can see me doing then you come down your armhole by eight inches you use it, your own applicable armhole okay then you connect it like so with your curve ruler all right just connect your back armhole then you connect your boss to your waist and then your hip like so 
yeah connect the hip and then the bust to the armhole then you go ahead and cut it okay just cut it like so all right so you see the back and the front now all laid and then i just went ahead and placed on my fabric the front bodies of course is on fold and i added one inch allowance on the hair side the side seam i added one inch allowance okay so i'm just going to cut. i'm just going to cut it exactly how i cut my pattern just as you can see me doing on the video you see i'm cutting it following the shape of my pattern paper you see i'm cutting it following the shape of my pattern paper so let me open it up i'm just trying to remove the pins let me open it up so that you see what we have what our fabric look like So you see, this is the front bodies. I cut it on fold, all right? You see the crisscross? You see the front? You see that crisscross? See that three inches there? See how it formed the crisscross? So I'm just going ahead to fold it, as you can see me doing. Just fold it in like so. Just follow this process, all right? And then you pin it with your pin because you're going to sew that place that I'm pinning. All right? You just pin it up like so all the way to the tip okay all the way to the tip just pin it keep pinning it all right sorry my hand is going off the camera you know when you're self-recording they could sometimes there could be mistakes all right so you also do this uh, pinning for the other side all right this is the part that will go around your neck as you can see from the picture on the screen this is the part that will just go around your neck okay so you just pin it keep pinning it do it carefully guys for a better result you want to use a silk fabric a silk fabric though it might be more difficult to sew but it comes out really fine now all right so you see i'm done pinning both sides so i'll just go ahead I'll, i've sewn it see i stitched it okay so you grab the back bodies this is the back you grab it and you sew it see see this place the shoulder you sew it the other five inches that we marked don't worry when you're sewing it you'll be able to figure it out okay so you join the shoulders together all right you see You see where the shoulder is the shoulder is not on top you see where I'm, I'm pointing just watch it carefully the front shoulder is not the same place with the back shoulder so I'm done joining it so the next thing I want to do is to cross it see how I'm crossing it now so I'm just flipping it to form that crisscross you see the cross in front yes so I'll go ahead and pin it I'll pin it down all the way to the back. I'm pinning it from the front. You know the crisscross is in front, right? So we're going to pin it from that front all the way to the back bodies to touch the zipper uh, side. Guys, I added a one inch zipper allowance to my back body. So you can also add one inch or half an inch for your zipper. Any one that works for you, okay? So I'm pinning it down to the back body. See what I'm doing? To go and meet the zipper allowance at the back. That is what I'm doing. So if you have any excess, maybe if you have any excess, you can just trim it off a bit after the, at the zipper allowance, all right? So I'm just going to repeat the same thing for the second side, you see? I'm also pinning it down. I'm going to pin it down to the zipper allowance. See it? 
I'm trying to turn the fabric so that will be it'll be very easy for me to handle. Alright, this style is very tricky, but it's very simple to make. You just have to cool down, relax, and you know you'll figure it out. It's very easy. If you make any mistake, feel free to loosen it and start over again. Just study the pattern after cutting it. Study it very well before you start joining. You will understand the style. It's very, very easy to make. Okay, so I'm just still pinning it down. See, this is my zipper allowance side, so this is where the pinning ends. So just do it carefully. Alright, see, I'm done pinning it as you can see. This is it. So I've joined the side. This is the side of the dress of the top. This is the second side. I joined it with one inch allowance. And guys, so this is the sleeve. I did a different sleeve because I was actually managing my fabric here. I didn't have enough fabric, so I didn't want any slash and spread. So I just figured out that I could do a different sleeve. So you see it. To get this sleeve, just get your long strip. This is my basic sleeve pattern, my long sleeve. And then I have a long strip, very long. Okay, you can double the size of your uh, sleeve, your wrist. Just double it and fold it. See what I'm doing? Just go ahead and hem it. Fold it like so, then fold the other side. Yeah, fold this side as well. The two sides, okay, fold it neatly all right then you sew it then you go and run a stitch loose stitches in the middle i've not ironed it yet okay I ran, i'm looking for where you okay, see the loose stitches here the middle there's a loose stitches there because i want to gather it so i'm just dragging it dragging it to form that gathers all right so i'm done dragging it so i'll just get my what is it called my sleeve and then i'll place it just as you can see, I placed it and I sewed it. I just stitched it there. You see the back. So guys, see, this is the outcome of the dress after I'm done stitching it and I'm done joining the sleeve. Thank you so much for watching.